this VBS 2017, we have learnt about a Welsh missionary named Robert Germain Thomas. In the early 1800s, Korea was known as the Hermit Kingdom. They did not want any communication or trade with foreigners. In the late 1700s, Catholic priests have led many Koreans to salvation through Jesus Christ. The Catholic priests and 10,000 Christians were killed in 1866 by the Korean government. The Christians in Korea did not have any Bibles. Owning a Bible in Korea was illegal. Anyone possessing Bibles in Korea will be arrested and executed. Robert Jermaine Thomas was born in 1839 in Rayadal, Wales. Robert was fluent in Greek, Latin and French and had a gift of learning languages. In 1863, Robert and his newlywed wife, Caroline Godfrey, left for mission work in China. Sadly, Caroline died within four months of their arrival at China. Weighed down with grief, Robert worked at the customs office in Chaifu and took a break from mission work. During this time, he met two Korean fishermen who informed Robert about the plight of Christians in Korea. When Robert heard that the Christians in Korea have never had Bibles, he embarked on his first mission journey to Korea. Over the next two and a half months, Robert learned the Korean language, shared the gospel, and handed out the Chinese Bibles to people. Robert attempted to take more Bibles to Korea aboard an American trading ship called the Sherman. Although the Sherman was attacked and destroyed, Robert threw Bibles out of the burning ship to the soldiers who attacked him. Before Robert was executed, he gave his last Bible to his executioner and gave his life for God. Robert Germain Thomas used his gift of learning languages to take the gospel to Korea even though it was dangerous. Today South Korea is the second largest missionary sending country in the world. God rewarded Robert's sacrifice. God has given you many gifts. Are you using them for God? Ephesians 4 7 says, For unto everyone is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. When God gives you a gift, he also gives you the grace to use that gift for his glory. Will you use your gifts for God no matter what you face?